Alright, welcome back everybody to Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm Know-It-All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Today I just finished updating Season 0 of Ultimate Iron Man, which will be the test season for a new-ish uh, competition. Now, what it is, is it's an, basically an update of Captain Adonis's Iron Man. And a lot of people have mentioned things that they wanted to do better or that thought they thought would be better in the rules. And so I've created a scenario for just that purpose. And this scenario will be a, will be updated every season. That way you can use whatever seed you want when you play on it. And it's, uh, you know, and so it'll be a fresh experience for everybody on each different channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Iron Man is, is it's a competition where a bunch of YouTubers get together and try not to die while completing a set of missions each successive week for an entire month. Now, the Ultimate Iron Man competition is set up for a five-week uh, tournament. Each week, you have to finish your mission before the end of the week. Um, I plan on having Season 0, for all of those who are interested, ready for October with the mission list already set up right here. Uh, with Week 1 starting October 3rd and ending October 10th. And then each successive week has it listed in... Uh, in in the description of the scenario and I've got rules that you can read if you are interested once I get the scenario published which I'm gonna go ahead and show you bits and pieces from the scenario and uh, we're just gonna randomize it here and uh, I'm gonna show you bits and pieces I'm not gonna worry about the difficulty setting even though when you actually play it'll be set on hard um, this competition will be run four times a year, one in January, starting with season one in Z January, if season zero goes well, and progressing through the year every quarter. Uh, you'll pr start on an easy planet in January, which will be the temperate planet. Then you'll go to an arid planet in the second quarter, a snow planet in the third quarter, and finally in the fourth quarter of the year of 2019, you'll start on an alien planet and the system will be similar each season but each season will have a different like different types of planets at each position so i'm going to go ahead and get into the game while i explain a little bit more now people have come to me and said and not just to me but to other people and mentioned in comments of people's videos and the like that you know in Captain Adonis's Iron Man competition, you're not allowed to attack any enemy POIs. That's anything with a spawner, unless it's the weekly mission. I have remedied this by creating certain POIs that are alien admin cores. Now, under normal circumstances, alien admin cores, you would not be able to attack it or take out the core or anything because the... Uh, the core of it and the the thing itself would be indestructible. But I have it set so that I uh, that the uh, core and certain parts of it are destructible. So like with this, I believe that this would be the power station base and proxy. So I believe the base is the power station in 1007, which is like right here. I didn't have to go very far. Now I'm in God mode, so I can't get damaged. Let's just go God mode invisible so that in the future, we won't have this problem of them shooting at us. But so as you can see, the alien admin core has a purple name tag, which is what you want to, uh, look for now the first week as you saw would be attacking this base here and this base 
could be different depending on what seed you play, but it will always be relatively the same difficulty. I say relatively because some of them are a little bit harder, some are a little bit easier. This one is moderate, uh, I'd say moderate difficulty, but uh, each base I have changed the interior layout just slightly so that it's difficult to get to the core that you need to destroy to complete the mission. Normally you have to access a series of switches or levers or such like that to open up the uh, access to the core. Like for this, you'll try to get this switch activated, which will open up this here, allowing you to come down and kill the core. Um, some bases, you flip switches and levers and it activates explosives, which destroys the core and various different things, depending on what the base is. Uh, let's go ahead, sectors reveal, and this is the basic layout of the sector. It's always the same layout with the same locations and everything, and your, so your start planet is always going to be down here, and your first mission is on the starting planet, so you don't even have to leave the planet, but you've got to get it done within one week, which means within one week you have to take out these defenses and the base. Now, in this situation, there are three defending structures, so it's not going to be that difficult. Get a small vessel, take out, you know, the turrets on these. You could even just blow them to heck if you want, you know, take missiles and just blom the heck out of it. Or if you want to, you know, do each one individually, you know, take a hover vessel up to it and take the cores out individually, whatever you want to do. As long as you get this base finished by the end of the week. Now, you may be thinking one week to take out a base, it's a little difficult. Well, it is a little difficult. That's why it's called Ultimate Iron Man. Um, because in, in Captain Adonis's Iron Man, usually the first mission is set up a base or something like that. In this, you have to work fast from the get-go. You have to start off, go quickly, get this base done, and then you've got an entire week to make it to the next planet, which is here. Um, now, if you happen to go ahead, take that out within like three days, you can go ahead and go to the next planet if you want. You just can't take out the, you can't attack the purple structure on that planet. So let's say you play, you know, you, you stream for like six hours a day and you get this taken out within three days, okay? Well, it might not even take you three days streaming six hours a day, I don't know. That's just whatever. But, then you come over to Strenus. Uh, Strenus, in this instance, for uh, season zero, is an arid planet. Now, uh, on this planet, you'll be able to take out whatever POIs you want, except for here, the abandoned drone base, or in other seeds, it could be the abandoned fortress, uh, or uh, sorry, abandoned factory, abandoned mine, or the abandoned reactor. So you make your way to this planet and you take out, you know, POIs and whatever. Sometimes, if, if it's a more difficult level planet, like maybe a desert planet, the uh, drone base will be... Why is there a patrol vessel on here? Oh yeah, it's a regular arid planet. Um, the drone base will be guarded by a couple of other things. Now, every planet except for the starters has a patrol vessel. And the snow and alien starters also have a patrol vessel. So, um, but the way that the missions are going to end up working is that the first mission, at least for now, the way I have it set up, the first mission is what's called a main base. Epsilon main, ghost main, uh, Rados main, depending on what planet you start on. 
Then you attack an abandoned structure, abandoned for, uh, factory, abandoned mine, abandoned drone base, etc. Then on the uh, third mission, you attack a floating POI. Now, the floating POIs, just like the rest of them, are admin core, and they have uh, been set up so that you have to activate levers and switches to get through them. Uh, but there makes it a little bit more interesting to get through them, but it, I think it makes it more fun as well. It's definitely more interesting for the viewers. Then when you come to here, you have to get through the bunker. Um, and there's one bunker for each faction. So depending on what planet type this is, it'll all be the same. Like if it's an alien planet, it'll be the same bunker on everyone's planet, which I think alien is Xenu. Um, which would be the Xenu weapons bunker. Um, and then finally, you have to come to this alien outpost here. Oh, I've got to, to... You'll make your way to the alien outpost, fly into the center of this asteroid field, and the final mission for week five is is to take out the alien outpost. That's what's always the mission, at least for now. I might eventually like put a small moon here with some sort of planet or whatever, but you'll uh, be you'll have to come over here and take this out for now. Now, if you want, you can do you can attack these in whatever way you want. There's no specific, you know, way to that you have to attack them. But if you, you know, you come up here with a capital vessel, wipe out the satellites, wipe out the turrets, storm the castle, you know. But since it's an alien admin, there are only certain things that are destroyable, like the turrets and the sentries and the spawners, whereas the rest of it is not. So you can't just say, pummel the, uh, the thing down here and hope to kill the core. Um... So, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot harder than just attacking a regular alien base, but it's, you know, it's ultimate Iron Man. So, um, but as long as you don't attack a purple named structure, you can attack any, apart from the weekly mission, you can attack anything you want. Now, of course, the rule still applies. If you die, you're out. So... <laughs> don't die. Be careful with whatever you attack. Um, if you still want to go without attacking, you know, dangerous bases, that's up to you. But uh, for the most part, yeah, that's this is the way it's going to be. Now, uh, when you do come in and attack this, when you get in range, since I'm God Mode Invisible, this doesn't register me as an enemy or as anything. If it did, it would actually start spawning drones to attack. So the, the attack on this thing will be a little bit more interesting than just, you know, what you see here. But that's what it's going to be for Ultimate Iron Man. If you're interested in Ultimate Iron Man and you have a YouTube channel, go ahead, uh, leave a comment down below or send me a personal message. I am on Discord. You can find me on there. It's just know it all DM. And I... Uh, just, uh, yeah, I will uh, try to get some, get a uh, Discord channel set up uh, similar to what Captain Adonis has for the contestants of Ultimate Iron Man who have a YouTube channel. Now, if you don't have a YouTube channel, but you still want to do this, the scenario is going to be free for download on the, on the workshop uh, at the beginning of October. Starting October 1st, it'll be available for download. Um, October 3rd is when the missions officially start. Um, so don't start the game until then, but feel free to play along with us. Um, of course, even if you survive, since you don't have a YouTube channel, you know, you, you wouldn't get a reward, but if you do have a YouTube channel, you post the videos, you get a video of you attacking this orbital spire at, uh, uh, at week five you you win you take out the core even if you you know keep playing and die after you take out the core once you take out the core you've won so 
uh, take out the core of the orbital spire in week five and you get a uh, get your name put on the Hall of Fame, which, you know, I'll probably just, you know, make some little POI with your name with the Hall of Fame listed on it. And uh, I don't know, I'll throw it into each successive game, probably starting at uh, on the starter planets. Oof. Sorry, I hit the mic. Um, or somewhere. I don't know. I'll figure out what I'll do for the Hall of Fame. But, uh, but yeah, so that's going to be it for this. If you have any questions that I did not answer about Ultimate Iron Man, uh, you can always just, uh, well, all the rules are right here. I'll just go ahead and go over the rules for you just to answer any questions. So... Uh, like I said, here's the schedule. The rules are as follows. Rule number one, if you die from anything, you're done with the tournament. Basic, simple rule number one. Exceptions would be a game glitch, death, falling through the planet, uh, I don't know, getting stuck on where the green barrier used to be. That's something that's happened before that they're fixing things. I mean, you never know what kind of glitches this has. It's still an alpha game. So if you have a glitch and you you show it on video, you're like, hey, this is what happened. Can I, you know, whatever. Case by case basis evaluated by the group. Um, you cannot attack a mission POI that has a purple name unless it's the weekly mission, which means... For week one, you can attack anything on the planet you start with because the first mission is the mission POI. Uh, weekly missions, uh, mission order by week will be listed in the scenario description. Uh, use any means to achieve victory. Achieving victory requires the destruction of the POI core. Now, the reason I say use any means to achieve victory is because I've got it set up. So you have to invade the thing. Anyway, you can take your, if you can take your HV into the base and kill the things and take them out with, go for it. If you have, you know, an SV that you want to be able to take in and blow things up, sure, you know, but certain things you won't be able to do. Like in the Spire, if your SV can fit through the doors, okay, you can take it in. If not, you really can't because you can't blow up the, the building. Um, but you know, so that's why I've got it set up that way and you use any means you want to achieve victory. Um, achieving victory requires the destruction of the core. Now here's something that, you know, if you wanted to do, you could still do some of the POIs, not all of them, of course, but some of them have the core exposed underground, which means you could dig your way underground if you wanted and blow up the core. Not very exciting, but innovative and safe. Um, but in any case, so you have until midnight on the following day or on the final day of the week to post the assault and complete the mission. So, and that's always a Wednesday. So it'll start on Wednesday, end on Wednesday. Uh, always keep your game up to date with the latest patch, of course. Um, each season will be its own new scenario. As I mentioned, you can use any seed you like and the difficulty presets will be on hard with all true and false options. Now, the reason I have any seed you like set is because the game will be similar enough that it's obviously the same competition, same type of planets, same type of resources, similar types of POIs, but Randomizing the seed gives you a variety of POIs that you could attack on the starter planet, at least, um, and on the second and third planets as well. And the final planet will always be the same for each competition. And so will the final mission again against the uh, Spire. But it still gives some randomization to the planet's terrain, to what other defenses the planet-based things is, and the only mission that'll be exactly the same is the final mission. Um, unless I put it on a moon with, you know, whatever. But for now, it's exactly the same. Uh, you may post as many options as you want on hard with all true or false options that I think I already said that. You may post as many video sessions as you want. You can stream as often as you want throughout the week but you have to have the mission video posted 
by Wednesday. It doesn't have to be on Wednesday. It could be before Wednesday, but it has to be complete by Wednesday, midnight, your time zone. Failure to post by then will cause you to forfeit the competition. Exceptions can be made on a case-by-case -case basis, evaluated by the group. Um, uh, your first video, make sure to show the new game starting screen to show your parameters. So basically, starting screen, show that you're on the proper season and that that says hard. That's all you really need. Um, because the seed, like I said, doesn't matter. Um, each mission episode... So, like, when you're actually attacking the mission base. It doesn't have to be every episode, but at least the episodes where you're attacking the mission base, whether it's before the base attack, after the base attack, whatever, show the B menu, which has your deaths showing. Uh, there, there are five, week, five weeks, five missions. Survivals of the final missions will be declared the winners. Um, as community of gamers, we request that you also do the following. Uh, if you have, like, when you have the videos, when you post your videos, uh, in the descriptions, put links to all contestants' uh, YouTube pages and anyone. And when you, uh, before you start, make an intro video that announces what we're doing, some rules, and who all the competitors are. Um, at the completion, uh, try to, you know, make a congr video congratulating the winners. Don't be a, you know, a poor sport if you lose. If you're a winner, say, hey, I won. But, you know, um, but in any case, that is basically it for the Ultimate Ironman competition. Like I said, it's going to be starting October 3rd. And I'm taking applications for it now benefits like you uh let's see you're almost you're pretty much guaranteed a spot if you have competed in captain adonis's iron man whether you want or not doesn't doesn't matter if you've got at least one video posted of any iron man season you're welcome to join us even if you don't you're also welcome to join us as long as you have a youtube channel to post for and like i said for those of you who don't have a channel feel free to download it once it's up and play along with us, you know, just for the fun of it. But uh, in any case, that's going to be it for this Iron Man, Ultimate Iron Man reveal, I guess. Um, for those of you who didn't know it was coming. And uh, check out all the competitors in Captain Adonis's Iron Man as well, because it's a slightly different uh, experience than the ultimate Iron Man's going to be. So check them out. Check out Captain Adonis's channel in general. He's, you know, one of my best gaming buddies and I love giving him shout outs. So, um, yeah, check us all out. Check everyone out and uh, enjoy. As always, I'm Know-It-All DM and y'all have a good day now. <laughs>